All right. Next up. Duarte French says, your moves are so utterly spectacular. Seems like elements of geometry and the forward movement of inertia physics are involved. I'm quite serious. My question stems from the foregoing. How do you calculate your move with such precision? Always in awe watching you in the ring. Is there certain things that you kind of keep in mind, Rob, when it comes to that stuff? Or it's just that's kind of you built the foundation when you were younger doing all that. Um, you know, I, I, for the most part, it, it, maybe it is being one with energy because I thought about that recently looking at jumping off the top rope and hitting a frog splash out of the middle of the ring. And I thought about it and I was like, you know, I, I don't put as much thought into it as you would think to make sure that I cover just the distance. I don't go, you know, 18 inches too far or 18 inches, you know, too, too, too light, which once in a great while I, I have done, usually after getting knocked in the head and, and, and I'm loopy uh, spinning. But, um, but for the most part, though, it's just, yeah, just kind of, bam, like uh, feeling the pathway, I guess, as I'm going, which has to start with the jump. So, a lot of that is, I guess, just being in there and, ha be, uh, you know, we call this ring awareness. When you first start your career, uh, I guess, at that point of it, you have to be in the ring enough to know without turning around, you know how far back the rope is just based on what you see in front of you and peripherally and all of that just makes so much sense after a while that, that it's second nature. You don't have to think about it. It's like instinctive. I think that's the answer to how to land a Van Terminator, a five-star frog splash, uh, certain things like that. Certain moves though do take some calculating before I do the Van Daminator. I am conscious of, how much I'm cocking my kicking foot because if I if I don't cock it in enough then I might extend it too early and thereby miss the target or have to swing the kick to brush by the target and not kicking it exactly how I want to so I think about that exact motion and, and visualize with inside feeling how it feels with those muscles flexing, firing, jumping, spinning, kicking, all of that I do go through on something like that. A lot of times on a rolling thunder, it's about where I jump. That's inconsistent. I jump sometimes uh, and I'm like a, a foot earlier than I am on other times. And so sometimes I'll jump up and my ass will just hit someone right in their face. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> and then other times it's like, I almost pass them like a swanton, you know, and like my upper body hits him. And ideally I'd rather be like in between, but, but that one, I, I feel like that one's fairly inconsistent. Um, I feel like uh, once I start my role, um, I don't know if the tuck is different at different times, uh, but it, it seems like that's the factor that, that it's that, that it's the tuck. And sometimes when I start the tuck, I'm already thinking, oh God, I don't have room to do this. My heels are gonna hit him. You're like I'm too close, the ring's too small, he's too much in the center. And, and, and so then I have those thoughts going against me already sometimes. And then uh, and that, that keeps me from committing going all the way through, at least to an extent, which can hurt it can hurt the jump even if it was going to be clear anyway it could be not as good as it would have been just because i'm working against myself there so that's that's a lot of insight to share with you right there well how about that 